Hey, what is up, guys? This is Bo or Carl Hung is 712. Today I'm bringing you some TDM on Pod. This is actually a really good game. I think you guys will enjoy it. I end up going 31 and 3. And of course, if whenever you play Team Deathmatch, if you ever get up in the 30s and the 40s, or hell, even the 50s, you're you're playing pretty damn good because you you guys know you know TDM. It's it only goes to what 75, and of course you got six guys on your team, so 75 split between six guys. You know that's just not. Not that many kills to go around. I start off sniping, but, you know, I kind of struggle because I haven't sniped in a really long time. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I snipe, uh, I have to kind of get in that, kind of have to get in that mode, you know. I, I have to have a feel for it, so. I end up picking up a guy's peacekeeper and doing really well, so I say fuck it, you know, and I switch to the peacekeeper, peacekeeper later on and do some pretty good work. But, uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about the, uh, early, uh, Christmas present I bought myself, uh. I decided to go out and get a NetDuma R1 router. It's, uh, it's basically a router that was designed for gamers and for people who stream and do YouTube and stuff. Um, it's definitely not just, you know, don't don't think of it as, oh, I gotta, I gotta be a, you know, a professional Call of Duty player or something for it, or I have to be a YouTuber or something like that for it, you know, don't, don't think of it that way. It just, it, it's just a really good router. Um, you can set up a VPN on it to, to basically protect you from uh, DDoS attacks. Um, but uh, basically what you're paying for is it, it, it is kind of pricey. So, you know, if you're planning on getting one, save up some money like I did. I saved up money for a while and decided to go out and spend spend uh, spend it on myself, get myself an early Christmas present. But I got to tell you, so far I've been really impressed with it. Figured I'd give you guys a little review real quick on that. Um in case you guys are looking for a better router, or if, you're, if you guys are experiencing some leg issues, UAV if you're experience, uh, experiencing playing guys f across the country, uh, other parts of the world, uh, this is basically the perfect router for you. Um, basically what the NetDuma uh, does is it basically comes with, uh, it comes with this really nice software where you can basically control where you're at, where you're playing at, who you're going, going to be playing with. Um, and basically set ping uh, statistics and things like that so that you don't have to deal with really laggy lobbies and things like that. Um, uh, basically, for me anyways, um, I can. if you guys really want an in-depth episode of it, I can actually probably record some, uh, some of the screenshots and stuff, take some screenshots of the uh, NetDuma software and stuff just to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about, but... Anyways, with this NetDuma router, you know, I live in the Midwest, I'm in the middle of the country in Iowa. So basically, I can, uh, basically the, what I set the NetDuma to is everybody within the United States and maybe a little ways into Canada. And uh, I basically don't go out all the way to the coast, but pretty close to it anyways, pretty much to the mountains on each side. So what ends up happening is when I join a lobby... First off, everybody's pretty close to me, so there's, you know, you're not going to have too much latency that way. And I also set the net doom ups to where it tries to find lobbies that are no higher than 60. The ping is no higher than 60, which just, again, uh, uh, most of the time I've heard people say, you know, when your ping's around 50 or lower, so that's when you, you basically get your best gaming experience. Of course, you know, this is all opinion and everything like that, but... Anyways, it's been a really good setting for me. Uh, you can definitely go lower. You can actually shrink your uh, your area down to basically where you'd only find people in your city. So let's say if you were in a bigger city like New York City or Dallas or or, or L.A. or somewhere like that, you could probably set your net Duma to find only people in the city. Even though it'd probably take you 20, 30 minutes to find a match, you could probably find people who are pretty close and get a pretty leg-free lobby or a pretty, uh, pretty clean connection, in other words. But uh, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. Um, so if you guys are looking for a really good router, if you guys are experiencing leg issues, if you want to stream, if you want to become a competitive Call of Duty player and, and you're expecting to play a lot of people in online tournaments, I definitely recommend getting the Net Duma. If I sound a little nasally, guys, give me a pass. I've got a, been working on a cold here for the past week, so that's why I haven't been uh, uploading quite as much. I'm sure you guys don't uh, enjoy hearing my... Uh, beautiful nasally voice so i figured i'd i'd save you guys some hassle on that that's just why i haven't been uploading too much lately but uh wanted to tell you guys that and i just wanted to give you a quick update on black ops 3 
uh, I believe it was what was it yesterday? Um, there was the big uh, another big esports uh, gaming uh, get together over in France, where the EU players and a few of our uh, US players decided to play the competitive side of Black Ops 3, and we got to see a few more maps. One of the maps really reminded me of Express, which I'm really excited for. There's like a train car or something that goes in between it. There's some water and other things. Um, a couple of the other maps look pretty cool. I think Redwood's going to be a really good map. Uh, the Call of Duty pros played Search and Destroy on that map, which uh, looked really good. Uh, I guess the Treyarch always comes through with really pretty maps and, you know, very punchy colors and things like that. So, it's a, like I said, it's uh, it's going to be an aesthetically pleasing game for sure. Um, the uh, the sniper rifle, I just love the crack and the snap of that when you when you hear that being shot. I mean, it's, it's really meaty. It gives you that feeling like you're really, really doing some damage, which... Of course, these are all just really little things, but when you're making a video game, you know, that's, that's, uh, that really helps the experience, you know, or it really has with me anyways. Um, that's one of the things I also hated with Advanced Warfare. I think the guns sounded like, uh, uh, popcorn farts or something like that. I mean, they just, they didn't, the game did, didn't sound good. It looked good, it just didn't didn't play out well or didn't sound good but just wanted to give you guys an update on net doom on the net doom r1 router if you guys are interested in buying that and just some black ops 3 information definitely come check out my channel when that comes live junior and i are going to try to try to do a 12 hour stream that night so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll see you next video and bow out